Do you oh, actually yeah. know what this car is? I know exactly what this car is. Go on then. This is a Peugeot 205 GTI. The inside is mint. Is it? Really good, Nick. Oh, it does look nice. This particular Peugeot dates back to 1987. The 205 was a classic hot hatch, and the 1.9 GTI was the fastest and most desirable model of the lot. The very last car I ever had was a 205 GTI. I'm just in shock. <laughs> I don't know how you exist. But I have to tell you, I have not seen a Peugeot 205 GTI in that condition ever in a barn. The good news is the clock's working. And uh, the cassette box looks lovely well, still. still do this. When you spend all that money on a car, what impressed me? The tape cassette holder. Yeah. Uh, hang on, that is quite aces. Or is that a cassette that's playing? No. No, that's on the radio right now. It only picks up 80 stations. Does it? But at the moment, the clock and the radio is about all that works. Henry's Rover and Jump Lead should help. Uh, just try it one more time. OK. Um. OK, it didn't go, but it will. The bodywork and the interior is just absolutely... Yeah, it's great. We've just got to get it going. It may be poorly, but the 205 is a favourite among passionate Peugeot collectors, so Henry is taking it. I mean, what does that say to you? It just takes me back to my youth. Does it? And I have quite fond memories of these, even though I've never actually been in one. It may look rubbish right now, yeah. but you and I can see how beautiful this is going to be. That Don't you think? It's surprisingly good, actually. We're going to give it a once-over, yep. change all the fluids, yep. new battery. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to drive it. No, it'd be fantastic. No self-respecting boy racer would be seen in the Peugeot in this state. So for Guy, it's out of the jet wash and off with the 30 years of grime, inside and out. He is using a light cutting compound that you can get from most car outlets to remove the oxidised paint from the surface and then waxes to protect the fresh paint beneath. The Peugeot is now looking pristine, but all of Guy's hard work will be wasted if he and Henry can't get it to start. In Oxfordshire... Now, mate, you are the king of polishing. That has transformed it completely. The classic Peugeot is still a non-runner. Henry's hoping mechanics Colin and Greg can save the day without breaking the bank. Have you had a cursory look under the bonnet? Quick we've had a quick look. look. Yeah, quick yeah. Look. and we've got a few bits for it that it needs. Oh, blimey, boys. That looks a lot of stuff. Derek's barn may have kept the Peugeot's body working good, Nick, but 20 years off the road means many perishable items, such as rubber belts and hoses, need to be replaced, and all at a cost. OK, so basically what we've got is a car that really needs a good going through because it's been sitting around. Yeah. Yeah? All these new parts could potentially drain the profit Henry's meant to be making for owner Derek. Yep, there it goes. Not bad after 20 years. The engine is up and running, but to play it safe, new brakes are a must, and replacing them means yet more expense. It's time to turn attention back to finishing the first finds. The Peugeot 205 has been repaired, MOT'd and is ready for a road test. So Henry and Guy can't resist taking this classic back to the 80s. Man, this takes me back, doesn't it, you? Yes. Mate. This is it. All right? <laughs> hey! Makes me want to be 18 again, mate. The car's in cracking condition, but getting it back on the road hasn't been cheap. Now then, now Adam. A modern classic, isn't it? Probably a rare survivor now, really. I don't think there are many out there. No. Finally, the old Peugeot. Henry spent a massive £1,550 getting rid of 20 years of decay and dust. So, can the classic car make Derek any money? Those that are out there, I've seen advertised from four, even as high as £6,000 for them. That one, in the condition it's in, I'd go with a figure of £4,000. It's now immaculate. Is immaculate stretching the... it a bit? Oh, I've yeah. seen the glove box. There is an issue with that, so at the moment we fully restored the glove box with gaffer tape. Nothing gets past Adam. Still, that valuation nets Derek a whopping £2,450. 